Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn about the hash passwords. So basically, whenever we are uh, registering any of the account or uh, so there is a password. So better way is that we have all always hash the password and save that into the database for the security. So for that reason, we are going to learn how to hash the passwords using the Fast API. Bycrypt we are using. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's have a look on that one. Okay, let's copy and paste this. Okay, so here we go with the, this is for the last video. And save this. So here we are using the PyCrypt, right? Okay. And in memory database, I'm using DB, initialize with the object, replace with your real database. Okay. So here user registration, we require username and the password. Okay. DB hash password, password, we require string. Okay. PyCrypt gen, gen salt. So here we are hash the password, whatever password we are going to send them. Okay. After this, we have a registration. So here we will check that the user data dot username in DB. If it is not, if it is there, that means username already exists. And what we are doing going to is user data dot password will get and store that in the user data dot username hash password. <clears throat> okay, then the user register successfully, right? then because we have already stored the uh, hash password right now we are have the login model which require username and the password so how we are going to log in so here we will check that the user is in the db object or not then the if it is not then user not found then hash password db dot user data dot username because here you can see that in the hash password it is there right if not then by check the password with this one and if it is not matching, then we are sending that the incorrect password. If it is matched, then we will return that the login successfully. Okay, let's have a look on that. So basically, if in the real world scenario, what we are trying to do, let's whenever we do the registration process, like suppose here, okay. So we retrieve the user information like the username and the password and we will store that into the DB. Okay, after the install in the DB, when we are trying to log in, so here we are check the password that is the hash password and the current password of the user. If it is verify, then we will log in, else we will throw the error that the password doesn't match. Okay, so let's take a look of the post uh, swagger also. So here we go with this one, reload this. So main purpose is how to hash the password. Okay. Try it out, username, if I put A and the password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And let's execute this. So our user successfully. And let's try it out to log in. So if I try it out with the username, I forgot the username. How many times say I just don't know. So paste this and the password would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I will put 8. 9 I skip so incorrect password right so I just put the 9 so here you can see execute this and login successfully okay so this is how we can edit hash the passwords and if you want to check the hash hash passwords so just copy and print this one just log this hash passwords okay let's do the DB Okay, let's try to execute this and here we go with the hash passwords, right? So here you can, this is basically the salt. You can save that into the DB and match the passwords accordingly. Okay, so any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.